in this video we'll learn about how to import the access data into RCIS. So beginning with this I have already prepared the access file over here. Here is the latitude, longitude and pH. So I'll save it in one of the file uh, types that is used to import in RCIS. So I'll save it into uh, for this bit. I'll use seven two because I've already saved it in one of the files. Um, I'll save it into one of the files because I've already saved uh, before and I'll just show you by saving it. I'll just add to work. In the last type, you must save the data into CSV, comma, daily delimited. This one. So, save. Uh, do you want to keep using that format? Yes. Then open ArcMap. Now, the main work is that you need to import the data for further analysis in ArcMap. So for this, using add data tool, uh, you have seen in my previous tutorial that I have been using this tool for adding the data like um, satellite image data. So I'll be using another tool for this. So here in the file menu, you have add data tool. Then there is add XY data. So click on it. This is because there in the file, if you remember, there was a coordinate x, y, this one, let's show it, uh, latitude and longitude, that's x and y. So it will help you to navigate to a geographically referenced map and uh, put a sampling point over there. So it, it would be very easy to put a coordinate uh, in your data. So choose a table from the map or browse for another table. So I'll choose my map. Sorry, choose my table. There is data Nepal. One two is my file. So I'll add it. So automatically, computer will add uh, x and y first. There is x will longitude, y will latitude. Um, if you don't have, then you can just click on drop down menu and click on longitude, then latitude. So you can place it here. Always remember in Excel you must place longitude and Y in latitude. Z fill is your choice. I'll just leave it. Over here you can choose the end of the parameter like P is end of the parameter. So I'll choose none. In description, geographic coordinate system name WGS name made while this put this here. If you don't have then just go to edit menu here. Then I'll just show you up in geographic coordinate system. Click on it. Then in world. Then world, right? Sorry. World. WGS 1984. Okay. Then click on OK. OK. Now this is your sampling points of pH. Different places uh, different places in reference to the app of the coordinate system that you have placed to each of the sampling points. So in uh, table of content to view the table that you have uh, placed in Axel, you can view it easily in Arc map over here. So click on the file this data Nepal one to CSV events. So click right click then open attribute. Yeah, you can see this. There's a null value. But this is because uh, uh, we haven't exported yet. So we need to export the data further to analyze, to edit in ArcMap. So I'll close this here. And always remember, we need to export the data after importing into ArcMap. So I'll just see, again right click on the file. There's the data, then export data. This export data will help you to further edit it. If you don't export the data, then editing option will not be available in our map. So I'll 
stored it in one of the place. Data, okay, data export output as a small save in next cell. Then, okay, do you want to add the exported data to the map as a layer? Yes. Now we'll walk in data export output, not to the one that we had previously imported. So I'll just remove the previous one. Now we'll walk in this file. Okay. For this, uh, for further editing, suppose I'll just open the table from here. If here, okay, here is a zero PS. I'll just need to delete this zero PS. So for this, <coughs> for this, a special tool that is the editor tool is needed for editing. So go to customize and toolbar. There's the editor tool here. This one. Click on it. This one is editor tool. You can use different options for editing over here. So before editing to be started, we need to click to editor and there is a start editing. So click on it. Now you can edit a data over here. So I want to remove the fill number four. So I'll select it over here. Then you can see here is a cross sign. This one is delete selected. So click on this. Here for ID number is deleted. Deleted. So in this way you can delete the file. And don't and if you need to add or uh, furthermore um points or a column at the side then you can easily add over here. So you just not need to go to action and edit and again import then export. You just not to uh, do that, but you can easily edit over here in open attributes easily. So for this, for adding a data here in table option, there is add fill. Oops, that is off over here. And this is because we haven't. Stop the editing. So for this, we need to stop editing. Before that, I'll save the edits, then stop editing. Now going to that table option, you can easily find add fill data. So you can add, you can add an uh, integer like temperature. Okay, temperature. I'll just add long integer. This is would be. One. Okay. okay. And again, we need to go to editor and start editing to add data. So here you can see a cursor. You can easily add a data over here. Twenty one, twenty two, or twenty one, or twenty five, or twelve. 16, I this 21, 16, then 12. So I have added my data over here. So it's like very easy to edit it over here. Then for this, we need to save edit and stop editing. So this one is how you can prepare the uh, Import the file from the Excel into ArcMap and further analyze in the ArcMap. So it would be very easy for us to do that. Okay. You can see the figure over here. So, uh, further analysis can be done like uh, if we need to. Place a level over here in different points. We don't know what point it is. Is it PS or temperature? We don't know. Uh, for this, we need to go through right click here in the file name and properties. Then in properties, we have a symbology option. 
symbology option, you can easily change the uh, size over here, like OK, like you can easily see how big it is now. And if you want to change the color, then you can easily change the color over here, like here. Okay, that's nice. Now you can change this color. Now, if you need to place a level over here, then in the same layer properties option, you can see levels. Yeah, levels. And going through that levels, you must click on level features in this layer. Right? Then in tech level fill, we have various options like pH temperature that we have this. So I want the temperature. So I'll just click on it. Then I'll this one uh, is text symbol means you can change the size of the text that will come appear here. So I'll just apply and you can see that. Okay. This one is temperature 25 to 12 is all this temperature. No, if you want to change it into the PS and going through properties, going through properties, then always levels, then in level fill, then pH, apply. Okay, this one is now pH. So you can easily place the sampling point in any of these maps. So for this, I'll just add one of the map of Nepal here from add data if you have the same file of uh, any of your places then it will be easy for you to uh, place your sampling point over here so I'll just go to uh, um, case study then Nepal, Nepal, Nepal. yes this one I'll just You can have a sampling point over your map like this. 